video, we'll learn about virtual machines, hosts, and hypervisors. And in order to truly understand what a virtual machine is, we're actually going to start by thinking about a physical machine, a physical server. Right, so when we purchase a physical server, it comes with memory, CPU, it comes with network interface cards, and adapters to connect to the disk capacity of that physical server. Right, so it comes with all that hardware built in and then we install some operating system, right? In this case, let's assume it's Windows and then we can run applications. And what happens in the physical server is all of these applications run inside of our operating system and the operating system kind of owns that hardware. And so as applications are utilizing that hardware, the operating system can control them, can control how much resources they have access to. And it sort of handles the intermediation between the applications and the hardware itself. Now let's think about a virtual machine. And instead of having a physical server here, let's replace it with a host. And instead of installing a simple operating system on this host, let's install a hypervisor instead. And now we're not going to run applications on this physical system. We're actually going to run virtual machines, each with their own independent operating system. Some of these VMs could be Windows virtual machines. Some could be Linux. It really doesn't matter. And in this case, the virtual machines are still running on the same physical system, right? We'll still buy a server the same way we always have, and it'll have memory and CPU and physical network interface cards and possibly storage adapters, possibly local storage. And then we're going to install a hypervisor on it. Instead of installing Windows or Linux, I'll install ESXi or Hyper-V or some other hypervisor. And the hypervisor acts as the intermediary. It interposes itself between the virtual machines and the hardware. This is the magic sauce that makes virtualization work. Now all of my VMs can share a common set of physical hardware. I can have a bunch of virtual machines, each with their own independent operating system, sharing a common set of memory, CPU, common physical network interface cards, and storage adapters as well. And so as my first virtual machine goes to access hardware, it's utilizing the memory of the host. It's utilizing the CPU of the host. It's utilizing all of the physical resources of the host. But what's happening is the hypervisor is actually the thing that's in control of those physical resources. The hypervisor has direct access to the physical hardware and it's controlling which virtual machines get access to how much memory, how much physical CPU access do they get? And how do they access their network and storage adapters? And as more virtual machines are created on this hypervisor, they're also sharing that exact same set of physical resources. So that's what the hypervisor controls is how are those resources shared? How are those resources presented to the individual virtual machine?